Hello everyone, welcome to Silent Fields Let's Play No More Heroes, video number three! <laughs> Alright, so one dead guy, ah ah ah, two dead guys, ah ah ah. Uh, yeah, cheap joke, cheap joke, I know. Ha. Ah. Anyway, okay, so after you kill those two, run up the stairs, these doors will open. Now before you go into the room ahead, actually go over here to the right and around the hall, and you'll see a chest right here. Oh, and I just wanted to let you know that these red chests here either hold money or a trading card. And in this case, it would be money. Money, 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 money. Ah. Alright, so after you uh, destroy that chest, go ahead and run back, and this time go into the room, and the doors will close and lock on you magically. Alright, now in this room, you actually have six uh, grunts. I guess they're called, or six bodyguards to fight, and slaughter to death. And pause. Alright, so, notice something obvious? <laughs> okay, what is going on here is called the Dark Step. Now, this is actually another secret move that's not in explained in the manual nor the tutorial. Alright, what you do is while an enemy is attacking you, which is usually better uh, during a combo attack, that he's doing on you, uh, quickly shake the control stick on your nunchuck left and right continuously, and if done right, Travis will swing around while all the enemies go in slow motion, and as you see, the screen will darken and this little question mark here will appear above the enemy's head. Alright, so during this time, press the A button as many times as possible to get quite a good number of hits in, which usually actually finishes up with a death blow, or a triangle death blow if you want to string the two secret moves together. All right. And it, actually another good thing about this is that uh, it works for bosses as well. So they can go down quite easily. Okay. All right. So now you know about both of these secret moves. So pretty sweet, right? Right. Okay. So just finish off killing the rest of these guys. Oh, and I get a dark side mode move. But of course, all the enemies are dead which triggers the cutscene, so that cancels it out. Okay, and these pink chests right here actually hold health items, which is normally in the shape of a pizza. And usually you'll either get a full pizza or only a slice of a pizza. So um, a slice of a pizza actually only recovers about 15% of your health, and a full pizza, of course, recovers full health. Alright, and uh, this one here, I actually don't know if it's uh, a full pizza or only a slice of a pizza, because as you saw, Travis was actually covering it up, so uh, if you know which one it is, then um, go ahead and you know write it down in the comments to let everyone else know, alright? Uh, okay, oh, here's another one. Alright, so now we're up to the blue chest, which contain either a small battery or a large battery that charge up your beam katana for you. So you won't have to uh, charge it up yourself. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <clears throat> but just like the pizza, the small battery uh, charges up about 15% of your katana's energy, and the large battery charges it up to the max. Yeah, so once again, I don't know if that was a big battery or a small battery. Alright, here's something you, you can actually collect, which are the trading cards. Now, there are actually two sets of trading cards in the game. Uh, the first set are these normal ones that you find in chests throughout the boss levels. Uh, and the second set you can only actually obtain in the New Game Plus, which is the game you do after you beat this one. Uh, so obviously, you know, I'm only doing the original first playthrough of it. Um, so sorry for you all that were wanting to collect all the cards. I might post a video up later on after I'm done with this showing where all the card cards are of uh, the second set. But anyway, with the first set though, uh, they obtain mass of apparently famous legendary uh, wrestlers. So there's really not much to them, it's just to, to add it as a part of your collection. But, as you all know me, I have to collect everything. So, yeah.
Okay, after you collect your first card, go ahead and go into this room and the door will magically close and lock on you again. And here you'll have to fight about 12 to 16 enemies, I think, but don't hold me to it. But just use all the moves you've learned so far. Um, and you should get, actually get by pretty easily. I mean, don't let it overwhelm you, okay? It'll be all right. Everything will be all right. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so, uh, do your dark steps, your triangle. Oh, here is the first dark side mode, which is strawberry on the shortcake, and it's acquired by getting three grasshoppers. And this is awesome because electricity will surround Travis and he'll move, uh, at about more than double his speed, and hit any enemy uh, will immediately trigger a death blow with a spinning uh, arrow. What the spinning arrow means is that you can swing the remote in any direction for the kill. So, yeah, it's pretty much uh, hit the enemy, the arrow will appear, and swing the remote in any direction, and you'll automatically kill him. So, yeah, dark shine modes are awesome. <laughs> Okay, so uh, here is the second trading card. Kill this dude, kill that dude, kill them all, just kill them all. Gotta kill them all. Um, yeah. So, after you got them all, the doors will open up again. And as you can see right there, there is a pink chest, which, as I explained, holds a health item. Once again, well, from the looks of it, that, well, actually, yeah, I can't really tell if that was a full one or a uh, slice of a pizza. But anyway, go out the other door, destroy the red chest for money, and this time you have to go all the way back to the foyer. So, there'll actually be new enemies that appear along the way, so just to uh, kill them. And, oh, here is the second dark side mode, which is the cherries, and... This one's actually kind of simple, it's just all the enemies will move at a really slow pace and travels will kind of speed up. Oh, and I got it again. Uh, however, I think this one's, yeah, this one looks pretty much wasted on this one dude because he kept on blocking and I am trying the beat attack with the B button, but for some reason it's just not triggering at all. Like, it, I guess in dark side mode you can't do a beat attack. Or at least it didn't work for me. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, anyway, oh, and here's the bar. And of course, there's no enemies. Uh, well, I'll explain bar later on whenever I get it again. Which sucks. Uh. Anyway. So, after you kill all the enemies, the doors will open. Well, the new door will open downstairs, or I should say the ropes will come undone. So now you can pass through here, get a... That was, okay, that one was only a slice. So get a health pickup, and kill all these guys. <laughs> and I get the strawberry on the shortcake again. Alright, so after you kill about four of those guys, a fifth one will appear, and he has a beam katana, but of course, has a strawberry on a shortcake, but the guys with the beam katana, though, uh, they are stronger, they do have more health than the normal uh, henchmen, bodyguards, grunts, whatever you want to call them, so uh, be a little more wary about them. But whenever you get into this room, you'll be fighting a lot of enemies in here. Yeah, the first one only has about... I don't know, four, seven, something like that. Two. Four, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but anyway, after you kill them, actually more enemies will be appearing again. So just keep on continuously killing them, and as you can see, there's other chests mining the walls, which is a battery pickup, a health pickup, I think a money chest, and a card chest. So you pretty much get it all in this room. Just keep on going. Oh, and here are the bells. Let's see here. This one is the blueberry cheese brownie. And as you can see, a tar targeting ridicule will appear in the middle of the screen that can be moved by the control stick. 
and Chovis will hardly move, though, which is fine, because when you have the reticle over an enemy, you press the A button, and a ball of energy will shoot towards the enemy from the katana, killing him in one shot. So, yeah. Very awesome. And, as you see, I got it again. Uh, I, I kind of actually noticed that if I keep on doing the triangle uh, death blows instead of just the normal death blows, I seem to get the or line up the slots a lot more often. I I don't know. I mean, it could just be me, but that's what I actually noticed. So, I'll try it out for yourself. Yeah, and once again, post down in the comments, see if it actually works. All right. Uh, where am I at? Ten forty-three. Okay, well, I'm going to have to cut this video off soon, so talk to you all in the next one.